Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're looking at uh, Zool attacks. Um, right now Zool doesn't have a way of getting rid of the monsters and so we need to add that to the game. We're just going to add uh, just the basic attack today. It's just the uh, jump attack. Uh, jumping on top of uh, monsters should kill it. Kind of like you'd see in Mario you know, Mario games. So we'll look in, uh, at the collision event then between object Zool and enemy. So we're going to reopen that. Let's see what we have in there right now. So we have a little bit of code um, and then some, some drag and drop stuff kind of mixed together. Um, so what do we want to do? Uh, we want to check uh, at the beginning uh, for a variable. And we're trying to see if the uh, if the vertical speed is larger than zero, that means that Azul is falling down. So if we say V speed, and we're going to say is greater than zero. Okay, so that would in imply that Azul is moving downwards. Remember, Y is upside down. So uh, if it's above uh, zero, then you know uh, Zool is falling or moving, moving down the sc screen. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, well, I think we want to set the vertical speed uh, to negative 14. Not exactly sure why. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find out why. Uh, so we do a set variable. Here's set variable. We'll drag it over here. Basically V speed. And we'll say negative 14. That will make, so we'll go up, obviously. Uh, and then we want this to be, is it relative? Uh, no. Actually, physically sending it to negative 14. That will make Zool go up um, uh, 14 uh, pixels per frame. Uh, next thing we want to do is destroy instance. In this case, the instance of the monster. So, so we'll send that in. We'll say destroy at position, destroy instance. That's the one we want. We'll put it here at the bottom. And we'll say we don't want to destroy ourselves, certainly. We want to destroy the other thing that we landed on, in this case, the monster. So that should do that. And then, and then what we want to do is change our our, our state to uh, objects will air, or change our object actually. So we do a change object or change instance. Let's see if we have that change. Here we are, change instance. So we'll put that next. What do we want to change into? Object Zool Air. So we go to the Zools. Object Zool Air is this one? Yeah. And um, notice in this change instance, it doesn't allow us to choose whether we want to do uh, performer events or not, like you typically do. So hopefully that's not going to be problematic. Um, And then finally, we want to exit right here, exit the event. So we'll just jump right out right here. Now, typically, that's a bad idea to exit right in the middle of everything. But um, this will just get us out uh, because we don't want to interact with it anymore. Um, this will short circuit any kind of collision coming from the top but the sides and the bottom will get past this and then do the rest of this stuff so let's look at that uh, let's look at that behavior and see what happens uh, here's our game drag it on the screen so we can see it hey 
Hey, it worked. <laughs> I'm surprised. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but we have a jelly here we can practice on. Let's try jumping on him. Yeah, it works. Now one thing, another thing we have to test also is, um, let me restart. I thought I'd put a restart in here. I guess I didn't. Okay, so uh, we still want to, uh, you know, get hurt when we run into them from the sides and from the bottom. So I'm going to just try that here. Yeah, so that worked. For when, I, when it came in from the side, uh, I got hurt, but then when it came in from the top, it killed them. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's still, still happening. Ooh. That was odd. Hmm. I think I might have landed in front of them, but uh, basically it seems to be working. So we have a way of getting rid of the monsters by just jumping on top of them. That's good.